Hello and welcome back to Slice and Dice. You know, I actually probably shouldn't do this recording. Eh, it'll be fine. I gotta go soon. Oh, let me, what time is it? Actually, you know what? Nah, I'll do it. We'll be fine. I got like 40 minutes before I gotta go. There's no way this run takes me 50 minutes, right? If I, uh, if I have to, I can just text my friend and tell her I'm gonna be like 15 minutes. So it's okay. It's all good. I'm going to the zoo today to hang out with my friends. And uh, if I got time, so I'm like, I, I woke up early, I may as well do slice and dice. All right, how you doing? We're doing well. Let's get to it. Uh, we got add wolf. Every other hero start poisoned. I think this is too much. Three poisoned is way too much damage output. Heavy weapons and right to blank are nevers for me. Add wolf is fine. I don't think you reroll this because there is not enough of the really bad common curses here. Add wolf is okay. I don't love add enemies because just kind of, if you want to know my stance on stuff like this, just pay attention in this fight and watch how many times the added enemy threatens me to die. Speaking of which, I should unlock this mega grow. I was thinking because XX from buckle now puts me into a position where I need to consider what happens if I lose my dabble here. Uh, bailed out by Brigand, but, you know, top 10 reasons I hate Buckle right here. I am so sick of this guy. It worked out and I didn't lose a character, thank God, because I'd be real mad if I had lost a character here. But, yeah, this guy's a little piece of shit. I don't know. He just, he has double X's, and early game, it only takes one turn of double X's, or triple X's, to kill one of your guys off. That's the issue with Buckle. Alright, fine, I'll reroll. Wanted to just slam end turn and win, but no, I have to press more buttons. Ugh. Ah, is this? No, this wasn't the first pick last time, it was Whirl uh, Pilgrim. Definitely Berserker. I hate Buckle, as we've just been talking about, but Berserker's really good. You can't let your hatred of a character blind you. Pilgrim is not great. He's uh, very much settling when you're picking him. If you like him, feel free to let me stop you. But I think that character is the equivalent of settling, because there are so many better plays, or better characters, I should say. I mean, he's in the same color pool as Knight. Yeah, man. I don't know. I think I'd rather have Knight. Something of note here that I think is worth mentioning is that Gardener is surprisingly not very good here. Uh, it's working out, and it's fine, but I would not have considered... I would have considered Gardener a good starter here, but it's very hard to play Mega Growth as Gardener because we have an enemy added. So... Normally, we would say Gardener, hell yeah, but in this position, it's like Gardener, well, you know, it's a little tough because the extra enemy means it's very hard for Gardener to pass turn one. You want someone doing something there. That's fucking horrific. <laughs> what the hell? Where's the bottom side of a dodge all attacks canter? This is fine for a one. I'm not often going to want to replace my bottom side, but... Some characters are down. It's not the end of the world. It's good too because we can use it to tech dodge in if we fight Tarantus or even Inevitable. So, I don't hate it. Look at that uh, actual useful play from this loser ass moron. Uh, what I should do here is you should go 4 damage boar, then shield and heal one. You could also just kill the wolf, but. I'd rather focus on the boar, because it's going to set multiple characters dying next turn, probably. Not just one. That's okay. By leaving Berserker on five, I can go in and trade with the wolf and be fine. I was hoping to roll a few more X's there for gather, but... Hmm, interesting. Now it's weird. That's not that weird, though. Oh, Berserker isn't dying. That's what's weird about this. 
So I think the technically correct play is probably this one. It's really gross. Oh, and then you can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. It's gross to play like this, but we gotta do what we gotta do out here. It is sometimes this way. Two characters dying to boar. Nice heal. Oh, wait. I don't have a kill on him because everyone fucking choked. Let me out of this fight, please. I don't want to do this shit anymore. What's going on here, gentlemen? Surely we can find some damage. Heal and Mega Grow. As long as I kill the boar, these two live. No, only, only Initia lives. Okay, so I can't be playing like that. One damage cleave, pretty big. I mean, surely we're out of here now, right? Good enough. That was a fucking hellscape. Herbalist Rogue. I'm good to get rid of Gardener. Rogue isn't very good in this fight either. I'm good with Herbalist. Mm. Oh, we have Initiate. I was going to say this fight's kind of scary. Now nah, we're all good. Nothing to be worried about, actually. I can just lock in on all my X's. It's actually kind of good for me to roll for X's at this point. Yo, actually perfect. Just the big piece of this one is make sure you're leaving yourself two mana left over at least so you can gather next turn. And I'm going to focus Fire Bramble. Uh, Wolf and Rat are also fine, but... I'll just go like this, and I need to keep in mind that I still have to press gather, so we need to be a little more uh, active, I suppose, in re-rolling. I need to make sure. Okay, well, you know what? Never mind. Two mana. Oh, you can gather on two. It's fine. I was, for some reason, I was thinking gather was three mana there, and I couldn't go down to two. Incorrect. All right, please roll X's. One more X. Dang. Almost had the perfect turn there. Actually, that was a perfect turn. Good enough. How bad is this? This is actually kind of interesting. The at 11 to 20 add Magrat is like a fairly easy curse, but almost HP enemies start poison for two. I think this isn't worth it. I don't think it's very good. It's the bottom side with three damage. Sure, I guess that's fine. I'll slap that on Dabble. Yeah, I almost picked that, but I think that I think that the poison just isn't impactful enough. It feels kind of mid to me. I'm just not super interested in poisoning. Like, in this position, do you want Ogre with two poison? Not particularly. It's okay. But, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't do anything super meaningful. And the Magrat can be kind of scary. Looking for an X here, initiate. Damn. Fine this way. No rush. No rush. All good. Oh, you know, I saw some comments I wanted to mention, by the way. Uh, someone, someone asked me in the comments recently, am I ever going to play Dream Hard? Which is funny because, like, you know, you go back. A few months ago, I was I went through all of them. I did the nightmare mode runs. I did all of the cat runs. But it seems like some new people have come through into the videos. So I may go back through those after the streak. And we'll probably do some text mod stuff as well. I saw Pun Fun play some really cool stuff. Uh, the, all, the boss rush mode looks sweet. Anyway. Sparky's okay here. I think Dabbler is a lot better. Because Dabbler is one of the few characters in the game with the offset top and bottom sides and this changing of four health or four heal into three damage play is quite strong two shield two shield i don't really want to play to make the blind flee it doesn't feel great i don't think 
because like, you know, he's just doing one damage to all. Instead, I can cancel a quartz and then we can always pass on the later turns or even better, they just put six damage into Berserker and then he cleans up. Probably the shield is fine. I am one off of killing quartz, but I can always vine. And then two shield and one mana for one damage, I guess. No biggie. I think we are all right. I mean, most of these early fights are going to be free, hopefully. Shouldn't be threatened here at the start of my run. And, oh, he hit the two, so now I have to kill him? I was going to let him live. Foolish. Pocket Flactory or Wrist Blade? Pocket Flactory is just, in my opinion, the best tier three. Plus six max HP is so good. The pain is obviously not great in most cases. Like, you talk, we talk how much about how bad it is to play with pain, but this is quite strong. We can also get a Cantrip Dodge out to mitigate it. The way you can look at this is, at worst, Herbalist needs three turns of hitting two mana every single turn to reach a point where Pocket Phylactery is a negative. There's enough characters in the game where you can do that reasonably. I should have locked that. Oh well. It's okay. I can just pretend like my game plan was to kill off that sneak. But there's enough characters in the game where you have like two two pip sides on the left side, and then the pocket phylactery is just six HP for a tier three, which is very good. If you ask me. That guy flees, and we're gonna aim one into the snake. I've been using gather a lot in this run. It's been doing me some good. I have to say. I think we're just gonna kill this militia. Yeah, with this dodge we can also just cheat, and then we don't have to deal with it. I mean, I mean my herbos is just unkillable. I think that's all there is to say. Armor or Jester is really bad here. Uh, Armor has no synergy. He's awful for this team. And Jester is also pretty bad. So we have to go look and see if there is something game losing in here. I think that Bard is pretty bad. I don't know if I would consider him game losing though. Uh, I would rather have Evoker, and I think I would rather have Fiend over Jester here. So the only hit that I'm a little concerned about is Bard, but I think that Bard is probably fine if I random it. Hey, Caldera is good. It's a great hit. Happy with that. Just thinking maybe you want to give him Pocket Phylactery. It effectively doubles his HP. And I'm not opposed to giving him Cantrip Dodge, actually. We could just turn this guy into a demon. Because he's hard to keep alive. 6 HP Caldera. He kind of falls over a lot. Remember, I don't have Gather now. We get insane setups for Scald. I... hate you guys. Not you, watching this. These fucking morons. And by these morons, I mean Buckle, you piece of shit. I need to kill Kaisa here. Oh, but I can't. I should let him die out of spite, but I, I will not. I don't have to spend the three on Skull right now, so we can just run it like this. It's fine. It's fine. It's not really fine. That weekend's really tragic, but uh, not much to be said. If I'm going to Scald, this is the only thing Herbalist can lock. What do I want to do with Berserker? I mean, I want Berserker to just hit a six, but that's obviously out of the question. I'm not going to be able to go Scald Scald on this turn unless I reroll Dabbler. But even then, Scald Scald isn't going to kill, even with the Cleave one. 
I should not get lost in the sauce of pressing Scald here. And with Buckle at 1 HP, with no real way to defend him, unless I want to move this. Hmm. Let me roll this 3. And I'll roll for a 6 on Berserker. He might go XX. The 4 is... Odd. I could kill Magrat. One more roll, of course. Okay. How about... How about this? How you feel? Fine. The only hard part of this position is stopping Buckle from dying to Gaitha. But we're not weakened next turn, so I should get a lot more resources. Like, imagine I have two more mana and an extra shield here. I think this turn is over. I, I think the fight is over, not the turn. The turn is also over, of course. Oh, good dodge. And a six damage. Okay. The six damage goes to the wolf if I can swing it. Yeah, it feels most correct. I'm not worried about Agnes here making a wolf. I guess in some universe I just X out completely here and die, but that's not something you play around. I don't believe. Ink bottle, apple. I think ink bottle is super good. I think apple is pretty mid. This is ink bottle all the way. I really, really like ink bottle. One shield cantrip to all my X's. Having no X's and minimum two effective shield is really, really good. Yeah, I don't even need to lock this one damage cleave, and I think two damage is your worst play here. Can I save Buckle? Maybe. Probably not with these rolls, but I can give it a shot. Seems unlikely. Yeah, impossible. It's okay. I mean, sometimes your 6 HP character gets targeted for fucking 11. No, 12, sorry. Uh, no, 11. That should be said. Sucks to suck. Should have locked a uh, 1 damage. Or 1. Yeah, I think I had a 1 damage mana game there for Caldera, but I rolled for 2 mana. Should have locked. Bye, Buckle. Fucking rat. Uh, let me set up for Scald here, actually. Makes sense to do so. Not much to be said about that. I feel like it's just unlucky. Although, I guess not super unlucky. What I could take away from this is that with two Slimers, you're very likely to watch your middle character take more damage than the rest of the team. So moving survivability items over to them in this fight is probably viable. Maybe more than viable, I think it might be the right choice. Because Caldera is un unthreatened here. They're never touching this guy. Although, you know, same line of reasoning. Double Slimer, top bottom crush could also be threatening. So, hindsight is twenty twenty. There's no actual technically correct way to play this, I don't think. Warden Bard. I'm down to settle for Warden, because if we go look at our heroes remaining, we have... Actually, they're not all that bad to random here. Basically, you're just randoming because all of the bad ones are out of the pool, so at worst we get, like, Guardian, who is a above 50% pick rate. I think all, all of these are good, and I just kind of want to random here for night. So, uh, in so let me let me rephrase. In my opinion, these three characters are the same power level, and Cleric is good for this run. I don't think Cleric is 65% pick rate good, but Cleric is often better than the other character, which is why the pick rate is so high. Uh, Cleric plays well with Caldera and Dabbler, and all of this plays nice into the team, so I can random with the chance of hitting night. Okay, and Monk is probably the worst hit because of the injury, but still fine. Although this fight's kind of scary. For Sudol, if this is the sort of fight you lose a streak to because you just get high rolled out. Uh, not much else to do here, but put Pocket Flactory over to Monk and give him 3 HP. And uh, pray. I'm gonna move the dodge over to Herbalist. 
4353 is not the end of the world. Blue, blue, gray, gray. This is not the sort of fight that I should be thinking about Scald in. I should be thinking about uh, just killing like two Soodles here, I think. Killing this Soodle saves Caldera. And then I'd have to kill this one for Monk. So I'm gonna roll for two men. Really. Now, if I go Scald Scald, I can just clear out half this board, which is gonna end up being better. Hey, Repel, please. Nice. Yeah, so all that I was saying is it ends up not being correct because I rolled six mana, which lets me go Scald Scald. Oh, not quite. Hold on. It's this way. Sorry, I miscounted a little bit. Really? Oh, I have to catch this pseudo. I see it. Because I didn't catch the imp or the pseudo. I was thinking the wolf was a threat. He's not a threat. So we can go like this. Actually, I think just the imp is fine, right? No, not just the imp is fine. Uh, we need these two then. It's actually losing because of the pain, funnily enough. Could we do it this way, maybe? Oh, I see what's going wrong here. And then you go Scald Scald here, but the pseudo won't die. It works out so strangely. Because of the way the damage splits. Uh, so how about we go... What happens if I go, like, Vine? Or what if I go first? Do this? No. All right, fine. I wanted to get cool Scald value, but I guess not. I This is harder than I thought it was going to be to make it look right. I thought it was going to be fine, but alas. I might just sack Monk here, honestly, to solidify this fight. But there's probably a, a clean line, but I don't want to fuck around with these guys. No, okay, and also of note, the only way to save my monk is to kill this pseudo. Scald. Look at that shit, it's so close. Alright. One mana away from doing a nice little triple save here too. I thought I had a much better play here. But it is this. Is it's is this the best play? I don't know. It leaves a little bit of a uh, little bit of my fate up in the air, doesn't it? These doodles could just rock me next turn, and I didn't really do anything that's feel. I guess I set up for okay scald angles. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna risk it. I think this is too scary. We're gonna go. I'm I'm gonna sacrifice monk here. Is the play. Because this position, I am very confident in winning from. I don't like to make the sacrifice, but I think that... And then the pseudos will roll just to solidify my cowardice as being incorrect. But I still think it's correct to be safe there. No reason to take the risk. If we were going into fight 12, I would think a little harder about that. But one of the fights that I have marked in my mind as potentially killing the streak is like... It's fight 10 for pseudos. That shit can be really bad. So the two right sides with three damage. Crystallize is so good with pocket phylactery. I just pick it. We go stasis, and now suddenly pocket phylactery is just plus six HP. It'll be nice if we can get some extra value to go with that, but you know, just plus six HP is fine. The two right sides three damage is not a bad play though either, to be fair. That shit didn't look terrible. 
I'm just killing the wolf because I can there. The banshee is like sort of threatening, but not super bad. And she's dead also. No cantrip dodge. May as well self shield here and not take this damage. Yeah. Okay, and now we've stabilized. A little bit of a rocky mid game there. But nothing to be upset about. Damn, he lived. I thought he would run. I don't know why I would think that there was no he was nowhere close to running. Let's get this guy out of here. Yo, Doctor. Perfect first pick. Love to see that. Leader, not all that good. Doctor for sure. He's very nice. And I can just give you Cantrip Dodge as well. The Berserker should be fine. Not too afraid of when to go here. A little bit of a shame that this dude just took, my monk just took random wolf hit, heavy, and eliminate all on this turn. Kind of fucked up. Good job, Berserker. That's what I like to see. Mm, I'm gonna probably aim to kill off some thorns here. We can go long versus Wendigo with Liquor. I'm not too worried, and my Berserker is not even all that threatening against me, so. I think Wendigo's damage output is not high enough to kill me here. Hey, good dodge. I can also just launch a Caldera 3 damage in... I was looking for Repel there. Doesn't matter to be... I didn't count it up, but it doesn't matter to miss the repel there because I had the kill on Wendigo, which pretty much locks this fight in as a W. And... It's okay, Berserker. Take your time, Wolf. Go Shield Ocular Amulet. Uh... The... Mm, I go Go Shield. And we can fix our items before I forget. Four caw eggs? I'm not worried. Just have above average luck here, win three 50 50s. This fight's a wrap. The carrier does half of my work for me here. I can just put this into the caw egg. I'm fairly certain it won't spawn now. And then I just press scald next turn. Actually, he doesn't, he doesn't spawn, see? It looks scary though, doesn't it? But then you leave yourself three mana because this turn you press Scald. Artificer is really, really good here. I think I can take this pretty comfortably. Artificer Doctor makes it so hard for me to die. Because we just drop stasis on this dude. The only downside is his charge side will not increase in pips. But if he sits here and makes me four mana every turn, it's so hard to die. And I can press blades. Like, it's just kind of nutty. Hold on, how bad is this? Okay, not good enough. I just wanted to check if it was worth it to send the one to all here. It's not, we can catch this with a sniper with repel. Repel blades, uh, probably regen, doctor, probably stun cyclops is viable here as well. Now with this setup I do need my orange and yellow to be like big winners. I need some good good shit out of them. I will be hopeful at the very least that they show me something good. I think Best here is probably like, I mean, it's obviously Agent Barbarian or like Agent Wanderer, right? I just have to make sure that I'm very picky is all. I, I need to be careful about randoming because a bad random sinks this run is what it comes down to now. 
Ooh, botany is pretty fun. Metal studs is good with shield one cantrip. Oh, what was this called? Ink bottle. But let me get a botany for the boys. I think that with Dr. Artificer and Crystallized Artificer, we're trending towards the long side of things anyway. Now, Artificer won't get any mega growth value, but again, four mana sticks, not a big deal. He's doing great anyway. That's the middle side. Make sure I do my growth first. I think we need to. I, I have such good AoE damage in this run. I need to remember that it's not always correct to launch all my AoE damage. It feels so good to press blades, but it's probably better to press bursts there. Well, not actually, but like from here on, it's a little better to play burst, I think. Yeah, I can also just drop a heal 10 on someone here to be safe, safe. Like, you see this Berserker here? He's dying. Not anymore. Okay, this is not correct, but, you know. Hold on. I don't know why this was confusing. That turn should not have felt strange. That seemed okay to me. I just want to take a quick little look here. I'm one off of lethal. But I mean, I guess, okay. Look, I'm getting a little lazy here if I'm not rerolling this X, but at the same time, a lot of the times when I get lazy and don't reroll the X, it looks like that. So, you know what? Maybe I'm justified. I'm not justified. Very silly. But I cut corners sometimes in finished fights like this. Dabalist is not the pickup. I do fear. It looks like we have to play Paladin here, which isn't terrible. He's damage output, which is something. So it's fine. Not my favorite hit of all time, but he's one of the hits of all time. I think that Davalus is just a little too weak. So mission objective here is going to be to kill everything but Troll King and then just outlive Troll King. Fast damage is not really what we do. I think I am going to take the three damage stick. Although no, four mana is so, so good here. I'll reroll. Okay. You dying to get punched by the slate. I hate to cleanse here. On Dabbler. Oh, but I have to shield Dabbler anyway, don't I? Just dying to Archer plus slate, so... There's actually only one way to go about this. Which is shield Dabbler. And if I'm gonna shield Dabbler, I may as well do this. I can break out of this eventually. And I'm not too, too worried, because my poison characters are okay. Although a bad set of rolls could put me in an awkward place, I am in a good enough spot because I can just punch down the slate this turn. And then the rest of my team can focus on... Oh my god, Doctor, I fucking hate this guy. What the hell? Okay, where does this put me? It's not very tenable. Doctor really just did this shit to me. Well, now it's really bad. Uh, okay, someone dies. Who dies here? Uh, it's probably Dabbler dies. Berserker's good damage. Okay. These guys went no mana two straight turns, which is unfortunate, but now we get to what was supposed to be happening here, which was just me going liquor, liquor, and suddenly, suddenly the whole thesis of this fight and why I pressed the poison on turn one makes more sense, I'm sure. Uh, once you go liquor, liquor, and then we do it again, my doctor just super choked. Yeah, and now this fight is completely won, but... They just wanted to keep it interesting. That's all. 
freaky, like absolutely freaky set of rolls. I should have been ready for that though. Definitely shouldn't have let that look close. I should have been prepping for no mana. Singularity, Serration. Serration's a winning pickup. Singularity, I mean, it's kind of cool, but Serration is a winner, for sure. Slap that bad boy over to Berserker. And... I don't know, I guess Ink Bottle here is fine. I can never go Blades, Blades turn one, so I shouldn't. I should be thinking about how I'm surviving these snipers. It's not. Oh man, all threes is kind of icky. I'd like to kill one of these zombies. We can just go three to all. Kill this wolf, or two to all. Kill this wolf, and then next turn, assuming I make two mana, I can clear the snipers out. And hopefully Berserker will find a 4 damage side for me, but, you know. Things aren't always as straightforward as you would like them to be. Eh, this time they are. And we kill one zombie and send a blades. And whatever you want to do here is fine. Done rolling. Oh, I could have also had Paladin rolling for kills on zombies. Do I have a left side replacer? God, it's like the one run where they don't give me a left side replacer and I don't get to play roulette now. Brawler is fine, but come on, man. Every run I'm talking about this fucking character. Roulette is super winning there because of vulnerable. Like that's a huge win, but alas. I was shown a bunch of random items instead of what I would what I needed there. Not needed, I'll be fine. I'm just a little salty. Should do this in the correct order. This rampage vulnerable is a very weird anti-synergy. Uh, I'm gonna do this way. Does that feel right? Sure. I'm not gonna sweat it too much. This fight's a wrap. Double fanatics and they hit into high HP characters. It just kind of doesn't matter. That's all there is to say. Kill this chomp while it's still convenient to do so. And goodbye, Wiz. Harpoon M3. That doesn't sound very good. Helm of Power also doesn't seem very good here. I guess maybe you play Harpoon M3. Yeah, I'll call it good enough. 3 damage vulnerable is pretty strong here. And Paladin can hold it. We'll have to see who the boss is to figure it out on if I want to play it or not. This is... Uh... This is a great fight for you to show me a little Rampage plus Mega Growth. I just need one, one time Artificer. Oh, let's go. All right, now we get to press this and we get to go absolutely Rampage crazy here. Although, you know, it's not even that good. Hmm. It's okay because I have a cleanse lined up, but still, it's kind of, kind of whatever. I'm gonna aim for topmost demon here, because I already cleansed this guy's pain and shielded it. Spread damage is a little worse for me overall. This is another wrap. Thank God, Artificer hit that shit. He does basically have an X since he has the the 10 damage heal. That is not a good roll on turn one. Dragon. Venom Doctor is winning. Answer with Serration is probably winning harder. Yeah, I think Venser with Serration is a little better. And then we can do... Since Rampage isn't that good, eh, it's not that worth it. Who's my highest HP unit? It's Artificer's gonna get bit. 
This position looks fine. I'd be surprised if this didn't uh, didn't win. I have a six damage for the call plus a blades to kill this and this. Five damage to all is not all that threatening. I'll roll one more. Cool. So it's going to be three vulnerable to the dragon. It's going to be four to the wolf, six to the call, blades, and burst. I do not think Solo Dragon has it. I think he can't win. I'm down to poison him. I think poisoning is a very safe line here. I probably win anyway, but yeah, no biggie. You can go either way with that one. That's 85. Where does that put me? Same place? Same place. Although I did see yesterday Voix fan 42 is coming up on me. Shout out to that guy. I don't really want to sit here and spam submits, but uh, you know, my goal it, it, it's cool to position on the leaderboard, but my goal is to win 100 runs in a row. It's not really like, go, getting first is cool. If I don't get first, it's whatever. 100 runs in a row is the goal. So I'm not gonna, and, and mostly it matters because I don't want to submit the streak and then have people who play go see the leaderboard and go like, oh, I guess he won. Boring. Boring. But anyway, cool run. It did in fact go 40 minutes. Haha. <laughs> but I, the artificer play is fun a good time with that. Even though he almost choked and killed me on Troll King two turns in a row. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.